ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಜನಗಲ್ಲ ಜಯ ಗಿರಿವರ ಧಾರಿ ಜಯ ಗಿರಿವರ ಧಾರಿ ಶುಭನಂದನ ಗಜ ಜನರಂಜನ ಯಶುಭನಂದನ ಗಜ ಜನರಂಜನ ಯಶುಭನಂದನ ಗಜ ಜನರಂಜನ ಯಶೋದನಂದನ ಗಜ ಜನರಂಜನ ಯಶೋದ ಯಮುನ ತೀರ ಗನ ಚಾರಿ ಯಮುನ ಯಮುನ ತೀರ ಗನ ಚಾರಿ ಯಮುನ ಮಾಧವ ಜಯ ಕುಂಜ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ 
राम 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 हरे हरे जय जय प्रभुपा 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 जय जय प्रभुपा श्रील प्रभुपाद की जय श्री राधा श्याम सुंदर की जय श्री श्री कृष्ण बलराम की जय गोरनीताय की जय नरसिम्ह देव भगवान की जय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुतिर हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रि जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैता गाधरा श्रीवासदि गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण माय हम्बल ओबाइसेंसेस टू ऑल असेंबल्ड वैष्णवस सो बिफोर बिगिनिंग टुडेस सेशन कपल ऑफ टॉपिक्स वेर लेफ्ट इनकंप्लीट एस्टरडे वी जस्ट मिस्ड दोस टॉपिक्स so after that class devotees asked what happened after that in that past time in that leela so one question was what happened to shankaracharya's mother we didn't complete that yesterday so adi shankaracharya shankaracharya's mother was at the end of her life so she wanted her son to be always next to her in the sanyas ashrama we are so fortunate that we meet many many sanyasis many sanyasis visit here this temple and they have satsang it is so fortunate that you meet a sanyasi i think after corona sanyasis have not yet come here hmm? otherwise many sanyasis visit a person who has completely free from desire anger and pride sanyasa 
samyat nyasa nyasa means renunciation tyaga the wealth of a sanyasi is renunciation it is very difficult to renounce things we can't renounce our properties our car our money small even small small things so shankaracharya uh, yeah and only one attachment is allowed for a sanyasi a sanyasi cannot meet his wife previous wife he can't meet his daughter a sanyasi cannot meet his son but a small concession is given to a sanyasi one material commitment and responsibility a sanyasi can have what is that ha huh? yeah a sanyasi can meet his mother you know that too for a short time but still there is a permission he can meet his mother so when shankaracharya took sanyas he made a promise to his mother you remember me i will be with you lord chaitanya also made the same promise to his mother sachi mata you call me i will be i will be there with you so taking care of parents is also very very important part of krishna consciousness sometimes devotees they neglect this kind of responsibility we know that great story from pandarpur when lord came to meet pundalik he said you please wait i am serving my parents <laughs> and the lord also lovingly waited for him you know but you can't say any other excuse you know let me wash my car and come oh lord please wait those kind of things we can't say only mother krishna gives a little concession so shankaracharya's mother asked you should be always with me then shankaracharya said i promise you whenever you call i will be there then she was about to leave her body and she called for shankaracharya and shankaracharya came and he asked what do you need from me then she was a very very pure spiritual personality she told shankaracharya i don't want anything from you if i expect anything from you then i will be the greatest fool because you took sanyas you left me and gone what can i expect from a sanyasi hmm? once some devotees went and touched his soliness jayadvaita maharaja's feet and said maharaj please bless my son he is going for university exam maharaj said i am a university drop out what can i bless <laughs> you know so sanyas I mean they don't have anything material so the most important blessings we can take from a sanyasi is bless me so that i will become desireless but many times what do we ask my son is going for eighth standard please <laughs> um i'm going for a surgery yeah, but that is okay okay chalta but still the best the top most blessings you can ask a sanyasi what is that blessing please bless me i will become desireless i am sure many of us don't want that blessing <laughs> you know so the shankaracharya's mother said uh, i don't want anything from you if i expect anything from you i will be the biggest fool still my mother i can help you what do you want give me the ultimate dharma of a human being you know savai pum sam paro dharma what a the ultimate duty ultimate duty of a human being then shankaracharya started speaking philosophy 
you know god is brahman we are part of god you will you know then his mother said i don't want to hear all your circus with the syllables mother told shankaracharya i don't want to listen to your word gymnastics shabda jalam you know you are playing mystical circus with uh, words i don't want in one word give me the ultimate destination then shankaracharya said sorry please pardon me my duty is to bewilder the intelligent he told his mother my duty is to bewilder the intelligent so sometimes it is good to remain a fool in krishna consciousness you know i'm i i have appeared to bewilder the intelligent one so my dear mother please meditate on the lotus feet of mukunda i will try to send you back to vaikunta that is the ultimate destination meditate on the lotus feet of mukunda you know then you can go back to so shankaracharya sent his mother to vaikunta and all his followers most of his followers to into what he say that uh, you know confusion of words so that happened so that is the destination of shankaracharya's mother yesterday we skipped it then one more thing i forgot devotees asked me that i didn't complete that yesterday you know anyone remembers okay you're all like me forgot the class immediately after that <laughs> thank you so something i didn't complete yesterday so today we are going towards the third fourth shlokas of uh, teachings of prahlad maharaj prahlad maharaj speaks about pride it is a very important lesson for a devotee many times we are also crowned with pride i did this i am capable of doing this i am a nice uh, i am a sweet kirtaniya i am a great cook i am a great manager i am a great preacher mm. so like that we also get crowned with pride dhamba we get crowned with pride do we have no all of us are directly from vaikuntha sitting here <laughs> huh? many times we are crowned with pride so bhakti siddhant saraswati talks a very beautiful deep lesson about pride there was a poor man and nobody respected that poor man is there anyone in this hall who had taken a selfie with the beggar in india oh mr beggar please do come i'll take a selfie smile please he 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 like <laughs> have you ever taken a selfie with the beggar why we don't want to get identified with the people who are socially defeated socially poor yes or no we don't want to identify but in ramayan you see amazing quality of ram ram accepted monkeys to be his counterparts to be equal with him i am sure we will not accept ram accepted in his army there were only animals there was no human at all he knew very well there is no point in trusting us <laughs> he had only animals in the army vanaras bear karadi you know birds squirrel tortoise it's a jungle army he had and he respected them equally what a magnanimity that is very most of the times we can't imagine you have brought a servant or a servant maid in your house for your house to assist you you know they are from india and they are doing all the menial jobs in your house and one day you preach to her 
and she started chanting Hare Krishna and she started chanting 16 rounds. Please be very honest to yourself. Deep within your heart, will you accept her as your equal? Appa, pin drop silence. <laughs> will you accept her to be your equal? Huh? Very tough. Some people say yes because they don't have a servant maid. <laughs> It's very tough. It's not easy. Giving away pride, giving away aham, it's not that easy. So, this poor man was walking. This is a story said by Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur. A very deep, profound lesson. There was a poor man walking on the street and nobody respected that poor man. No one respects, no one cares. The society doesn't even bother whether they exist or not. And all of a sudden he became rich. The poor man became rich. Then people started wishing him. They started wishing him good morning. They started asking how are you. Then they started inviting him to their house. And they started inviting for parties and this and that. And this rich man will go to house every day and bow down in front of Lakshmi and say, Mr. such and such person, Butterji, Butterji, he respected me, I am passing that respect to you. Today, Venkateshwara Govind Prabhu respected me, Lakshmi, I am passing that respect to you. Today, such and such Mataji, why he was doing that? Why he was doing that? Because of Lakshmi, people are respecting him. And that is not respect for him, it is respect for Lakshmi actually. He is a messenger. Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur said, The moment we start becoming devotees, people appreciate you. Venkateshwar Govind Prabhu, you are an amazing actor. The way you acted as Narsimha, Narsimha came and stood in front of me. Then Venkateshwar Prabhu started roaring. Ah. <laughs> so he is that appreciation is for Venkateshwar Prabhu or for Narsimha. But many times we steal that. <laughs> it's all Krishna's mercy Prabhu. <laughs> you know, we steal that in between. Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur said, a yeah, Vaishnava is just a mediator. Pass it back. Once His Holiness Jayapataka Swami Maharaj said, whenever people come and pay obeisances, a senior devotee asked this question to uh, Guru Maharaj asking, what should be our mood when people come and touch our feet and pay obeisances, when we go in public, so many people will come and fall at your feet and they respect and they Then Guru Maharaj said, mentally pass it to parampara. If you can't do that, simply bow down and keep chanting Hare Krishna. Because all those things are not meant for you. Because you are acting Krishna's Leela. Imagine tomorrow Venkateshwar Govind Prabhu is announcing drama of my story, how I studied in the college. Please all of you come, pay 100 dinner ticket. I'm sure nobody will turn up. <laughs> then he has to give free tickets. Right? And how many times you will watch the same drama of Venkateshwar Prabhu's college life? Will you watch it ten times? Prabhu, next Narsimha Jayanti, you should perform that same drama. We are waiting for that. That blue color shirt you wear in your college days, amazing. Nobody will say that. It is all because we sing Krishna's name. Because we speak from Bhagavatam Bhagavad Gita. Because we just... Did uh, what he say, repeat what Srila Prabhupada said. People are respecting. So Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati said this. We should be very humble. Okay. So now, ah yeah, I remember that uh, another question yesterday somebody asked. Why Badrachalam Ramadas was present for 12 years? Yesterday we were speaking about Badrachalam Ramadas. 
why he was present for 12 years when he was a boy he found a nice speaking parrot you know the parrots even now in india there are many parrots who chant ram you know am am they will be chanting there are many parrots in india they chant ram so badrachalam ramadas he found a parrot which chants ram's name he was he was a devotee from his younger age he was so attracted to the parrot he caught that parrot and brought it to his house and kept it with him for 12 days he was enjoying the parrot chanting ram was that right or wrong whatever ramdas did is that right or wrong is that right or wrong why yeah he arrested that bird you know upanishad says we are all prisoners of our own mind there is a shloka it says we are all prisoners of our own mind so ramadas arrested this parrot for 12 days then he realized how can just for my pleasure how can i hold this bird captivated so he let the bird free because he did that to the parrot for 12 days he got present for 12 years and he was chanting ram's name you know so everything has got any reaction in this material world okay so we move to the next the fourth shloka tat prayaso na kartavyo yato yatha ayur vaya param nat vindate kshemam mukunda charanambujam this is amazing shloka i am sure many of you will not agree with this shloka prahlad said don't work like a donkey is there anybody in this hall working like that no one okay <laughs> we don't work so much <laughs> yeah we all came to bahrain thinking that within 2 years i will earn my money and go back and 20 years over now 30 years how many of you came with that plan of 2 years okay oh prabhu ji now how many years over now 35 okay two more to go few more to go <laughs> 35 years we all came with the plan you know just two years i'll finish and go back so prahlad is attacking balram desh devotees directly <laughs> you know don't work so you know donkeys walk back walk backwards you know ah whenever donkeys get hurt they don't like something they can walk even for miles they they can walk backwards that's why they are called donkey they can walk backwards if 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 the dobi beats them too much and if they are not happy with the master then with the whole load the donkey can walk back without realizing he is making a stupid thing he will be beaten again to go forward that is why they are called donkeys you know we also do that donkey decision sometimes you know i am hurt i am not going to talk to him i am not going to to the temple i am not going for this thing we also make this decision so prahlad is saying don't prayas or don't work so blindly whatever is destined to you you will definitely get so the greatest job is mukunda charanambujam surrendering taking shelter of mukunda now the question will arise in our mind so prabhu ji you mean to say i should not work you know some are waiting for that <laughs> put the blame on prabhu ji go back to india so should i know? you can work in those days the farmers they were not lazy early morning the moment sun rises they will go to the field and they will sincerely work in the field and the moment sun comes up right up to on their head they will that's all the job is over they come back home play with the children grandchildren and evening whole evening they sit and discuss ramayan mahabharat holy names and they go to sleep balanced 
ಯುಕ್ತ ಆಹಾರ ವಿಹಾರ ಯುಕ್ತ ಚೇಷ್ಟ ಸುಕರ್ಮಸು ಯುಕ್ತ ಸ್ವಪ್ನಾವಬೋಧಸ್ಯ ಯೋಗೋ ಭವತಿ ದುಃಖ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಫುಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಎಂಟರ್ಟೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಅ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ if you have painful hurting thoughts it becomes very heavy imagine a kid scores zero out of 100 and he comes back home and mother is asking what how was the exam what did you how much you scored and this and that he will be walking as though he is carrying 100 kilo he will be walking like that imagine he scores 100 out of 100 how he will come home yeah jump and scream and you know the painful thoughts has got some weight if you want to live long if you want to travel the life of journey with health if you want to be peaceful keep your mind at peace remove all the painful thoughts it is the responsibility of every spiritualist to maintain his heart at peace nobody else can do that ashantasya kuta sukham Arjuna if you don't know to maintain yourself at peace how can you enjoy in this world it is my responsibility to protect myself by not getting hurt hurt by the dualities of world important balanced recreation balanced food it's very important god had mercifully kept an alarm clock in your tummy he has kept placed an alarm clock very mercifully and the clock will tick when you have taken the right food if you have taken enough 50% your belly is full the stomach will say oh! that means he is saying enough prabhu stop after this they take two chapati roll and another paneer sabji <laughs> then the stomach will say oh! a bigger noise that means enough baba don't drop anything inside <laughs> after that two bananas will go <laughs> you know so nature has designed ayurveda says the first four handful of food is for you the balance four handful is for the doctor it's helping him so yukta ahara yukta so it's very important to maintain mind at peace so here prahlad is saying ಮುಕುಂದ ಚರಣಾಂಬುಜಂ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಸರಂಡರ್ ಟು ಮುಕುಂದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಟ್ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಲೇಸಿ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಡೂ ಯುವರ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಬಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕಲ್ಟಿವೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಲೇಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಸೇ ಡಾಂಕಿ ವೆರಿ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪುಂಸೋ ವರ್ಷ ಸತಂ ಹಿ ಆಯುಷ್ ತದ್ ಅರ್ಧಂ ಚ ಜಿತಾತ್ಮನ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಏನೋ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಹೌ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ the beautiful pastime of uh, jayadev goswami jayadev goswami was one acharya unanimously accepted by all sampradayas he was the only one acharya accepted by all sampradaya in gaudiya vaishnava sampraday we accept jayadev goswami we have all the tavakara kamalavare was written by jayadev goswami in sri sampraday they accept jaydev goswami madhvas accept jaydev goswami and uh, in gujarat dwaraka they accept even if you go to dwarkadish temple every day night they sing ashtapati of jaydev goswami and close the temple you go to badrinath they sing ashtapati and close the temple jagannath puri they sing geeta govindam in the night all spiritual bhakti sampradayas unanimously accept jaydev goswami jaydev goswami at the age of 5 
he was such a wonderful devotee every day he will run to school in time he will not miss his school for one single day jaydev goswami's father became so happy one day he met the teacher and jaydev goswami's father was so happy he poured out saying that you are such a wonderful brahmana teacher you are teaching my son so beautifully he doesn't want to miss the class for even one single day then the teacher said the day your son joined my school i have closed my school already now i am jobless first he stopped coming then he pulled out all this you didn't know about it so where was my son going every day he will go then another person came and said your son with all his friends they were acting drama in my kethi field so the father said what's wrong in that no yesterday was lanka dahana they burnt the whole field <laughs> such a obedient student he was jaydev goswami father became wild then he called his son five year old boy why are you wasting time or why are you not so having so much attention in rama and mahabharat it is all stories why do you believe it so much and why are you disturbing other this thing and it was a big conversation at the end jaydev goswami said shukdev and vyasadev are speaking the truth absolute truth then father asked how do you know it is the absolute truth so jaydev goswami said told this example to his father there are 10 houses in a street all the 10 houses had dogs with them you know one day a thief landed in the first house the dog in the first house barked the dog in the second house did not see the thief it also barked because the first dog barked then the third one barked then the fourth one and all the 10 dogs barked and the thief ran away if the dogs are having so much faith on the first dog why should i not believe in vyasa and shukadev father kept quiet and never advised his son after that <laughs> such a powerful answer he gave to his father he decided to become sanyasi jaydev goswami he became he decided to become sanyasi then in his travel he has already you know kind of decided any time he can accept sanyas he was ready on his travel he went to jagannath temple and he was praying in front of jagannath right in front of him there was an elderly brahmana praying to jagannath jagannath i am a daridra brahman i don't have any wealth somehow arrange a qualified groom for my daughter and jagannath said turn back the right man is standing behind you <laughs> and this elderly person turned back and there is no one what sanyasi kind of man is standing there there is nobody then he told jagana there is nobody behind me there is some sanyasi that person is the right match for your daughter jagana answered my lord i didn't ask for a sanyasi for my daughter i wanted a proper groom you approach him your daughter will attain the highest goal of human life by marrying him so he went and approached the sanyasi jaydev and said jagana this wants that my daughter should get married to you you know then jaydev said look at me i don't have anything in this material world i don't have any property anything in this material world yeah maybe little forward yeah either you can come forward just or shake and sit in the same place <laughs> it's same either way <laughs> so uh, <laughs> where did i stop 
yeah <laughs> so get jaydev goswami said i don't have anything i am penniless how do you think that your daughter will be happy getting married to me then the brahmana went to jagannath this is the reply he gave even i feel so how will i my daughter be happy then jagannath said he is speaking the truth so he will take care of your wife don't worry no he is not changing his picture in photoshop or something like that he is speaking the truth so finally their marriage happened by jagannath's arrangement jagannath conducted the marriage of jaydev goswami and padmavati she was such a chaste lady this is amazing they didn't had anything called privacy in between them i am sure there is no single couple in this world who don't have something private or secret between them there can't be but jaydev and padmavati they didn't had anything called private and secret between them because both their 100% intention is to serve krishna many times wife becomes devotee because husband is a devotee sometimes husband is forcefully becoming devotee because wife and children are devotees you know that happens but in jag in jaydeva's case there is no privacy no secrecy the whole discussion in their house all the action deeds talk everything is how how to please madhava because their favorite their personal deity at home was madhav that is why in the song you will see jay devir pranadhan re radha madhava radha madhava radhe if you go to jaipur uh, kanaka vrindavan if you go to that place the temple called kanaka vrindavan even today you can see that madhav deity worshiped by jaydev goswami how many of you been there kanaka vrindavan okay very less you can see that madhav deity worshiped by jaydev goswami and jaydev goswami is like all the time writing songs and you know he never went for work and padmavati never complained about that and jaydev strongly believed krishna will supply and that happened many times krishna will come home and he will supply and one day you know that past time that jaydeva wrote that uh, krishna massages radharani's feet touching radharani's feet he wrote and he thought how is that possible that krishna will touch radharani's feet he stroke it down then he told padmavati i am very hungry i'll just go take a dip in ganga i'll come back please keep my lunch ready then jaydeva turned J- immediately another jaydeva came and said padmavati i am very hungry please serve my lunch then she said you said you wanted to go and take bath what happened jaydev said no no i will take bath later actually krishna came you know then padmavati was serving and jaydev was asking how did you make this what are the combination what are the ingredients padmavati this is so tasty serve me more serve me more and padmavati is wondering this man has never spoken like this in entire life <laughs> you know so she also happily served and jaydeva ate everything and said okay and he went and real jaydeva came said padmavati i am very hungry serve me lunch <laughs> padmavati is wondering what happened to him today you know just now you came and ate and you appreciated that you appreciated this and that then something struck jaydeva he ran and he took his palm leaves and he saw it is again corrected krishna touches radharani's feet that soul his hair stood on and tears were coming he jumped and danced padmavati you know who came krishna came he ate from your hands he did that he did that he was and suddenly he became very morose i wrote the song and you spent time with padmavati that's not fair next day padmavati was cooking in the kitchen it's a beautiful song krishna came as a boy baby boy 
you know that olden jula that stuff and all on the floor people will used to cook and they have that uh, whatever they blow fire olden days you know all those things we see only museum now you know <laughs> So Padmavati was using that and cooking. Krishna came and said, sat next to Padmavati. Then Krishna scratched Padmavati. Padmavati said, Krishna, what's that? I want to tell you a secret. Then Padmavati said, but don't tell this to your husband. Yes, I will not tell. You know, your husband is jealous of you. <laughs> Krishna told this to Padmavati. <laughs> so such an intimate relation they can see krishna krishna was like part of their life he was doing everything and they have taken so much loan from villagers especially from a shop wala he came and said i have been giving you thinking you people are sane but it's beyond my limit i can't give any more loan so i need your house then jaydev just walked out of the house and he told padmavati I already told your father you will not get any benefit by marrying me. So I have to leave the house, you can come with me. So they just left the house and Padmavati said the greatest wealth which I have got in my life is you because I am so sure when you go back to Vaikuntha you will carry me with you. Then Jayadeva for the first time thanked Jagannath for giving such a wonderful wife. And suddenly, in between the conversation, Padmavati again ran inside the house. Oh, no, no, I forgot something. Then Jayadeva thought, okay, you are also a regular woman. <laughs> you for but she came out with Madhav deity. They left everything, they carried Madhav. And they went to Jagannath Puri king. The king was so happy. So happy with Jayadeva. He gave enormous wealth to Jaydev. Jaydev said, I don't want, I don't want, stop, stop. But the king kept on giving forcefully. He hid all the gold in Bullock cart and sent Jaydev. And Jaydev was going back home. Somehow, four heinous, worst robbers came to know Jaydev was moving with so much of wealth. They blocked Jaydev in the dead of the night. And they said, give everything. Jaydeva was so happy to give away the gold. You know, and the thieves were completely surprised. They have never seen anyone in history giving away gold so happily to a thief. And Jaydeva said, there are two bags under the bullock cart. There is one bag there, take that also, take that. Then the thieves took away all the gold and they were suspicious. How can a person do like this? Maybe he is king's spy. They chopped Jaydeva's arm and threw him in a blind deep well. They chopped his arm. Inside the well, Jaydeva song, sang a song, Jagannath. I said, I pray to you that I don't want gold because my attachment will develop. develop. I don't want jewelry, I don't want uh, bangles, I don't want chain. I, I pray to you, but you are so merciful, along with bangle, you removed my hand also. So that I will never desire for Bengal hereafter. He sang a song like that. What we will be doing? I all screaming inside the gym. Such a this thing. Then king came to know about this and king was blaming himself for the reason. I am the reason for this. Jaydev told me not to. And the respect and love towards Jaydev and his wife multiplied. And king wanted them to be always in the palace. So he brought them back and he was uh, always assisting Jaydev and spending time, hours and hours listening to Jaydev. So slowly the queen was getting irritated. King is spending all the time with Jaydev and his wife. Then one day, Jaydev's birthday came. Sorry, the king's birthday came. So king started giving a lot of charity to everyone. He was giving enormous wealth. He was doing a big charity. And Jaydev was sitting next to the king. And Jaydev saw the four thieves standing in the line to get to that charity. Then Jaydev, amazing. Jaydev saw them as spiritual master. Why? They severed my material attachment. So he told the king, they are very important to me. They are my very good friends. Please give them 
extra gift and and king became so happy because jaydeva is recommending somebody and the thieves saw the king and jaydeva they are talking about them then they grew even more suspicious but king gave so much of gold again and again then jaydev said they can't carry so much of gold send four servants with them you know and the thieves are completely bewildered they don't know what is going on and they walked then the four the, the security is asked you people don't look like spiritual personalities please reveal your identity why did our king gave so much of wealth to you you don't look like spiritual personalities and the thieves said yes we are robbers and that jaydev who is sitting next to your king he is our leader you know he is waiting for the right moment so that he will kill the king and loot everything when the four robbers said that there was a terrific noise earth shook earth crack opened and sucked the four thieves inside and closed speaking about such a great vaishnava speaking often aparad about such a great personality earth just sucked all the four thieves and the securities were like they've never seen anything in life like this they ran to the king and they were saying this happened that happened and and king was completely surprised he went to jaydev and asked who are they what happened and jaydev after hearing that they were sucked inside earth jaydev said they were the four thieves chopped my hand i wanted to reward them for doing that then king with tears bow down and touch jaydev's feet and said can there be a personality like you i am so blessed to have your association your company i am so blessed that you are living in my palace i have never seen so he was bowing down again and again to jaydev's feet that irritated the queen even more now the king is spending all the time with jaydev so one day the queen went and told jaydev's wife padmavati i don't know there is a very painful news for you then padmavati asked what it is your husband jaydev and my husband king both of them went in jungle but a tiger attacked your husband and he is dead and she showed blood soaked clothes and padmavati she cried praying i thought and believed when you go back to vaikuntha you will take me also how is that my lord that you left me and went to vaikuntha she didn't pray for anything else ayyo oh, you died you didn't we didn't tell you where the document is you didn't tell me where the <laughs> she didn't pray any of those things you went back to vaikuntha you forgot me and she called madhava's name and immediately she left her life then the queen was shocked she didn't expect this to happen then jaydev came back home then jaydev saw his wife and uh, how did you forget going back to godhead how did you forget about me while going back to godhead then jaydev out of own his own will he left his pran and the king was shocked two amazing mahatmas left body all because of my queen how devilish she is he took the knife and killed poked himself and the king left his life then it's amazing madhav said because you are all here i came now you people left me leave me so he brought jaydev padmavati and king back <laughs> so the deity so jaydev served madhava throughout his life and the deity is still there in kanaka vrindavan in jaipur jaydever pranadhana re radha madhava radha madhava radhe radha radha madhava radha madhava radhe
सनातनेर प्राणदानरे सनातन राधा मदन मोहन राधा मदन मोहन राधे राधा मदन मोहन राधा मदन मोहन राधे श्यामानंदेर प्राणाधानरे Radha Shyam Sundar, Radha Shyam Sundar Radhe Pumso Varsha Satam he asked, so human birth is hundred years, Satam, century, hundred years, Tad Ardham because of our desires, we sleep 50% of it. All because of desire. There is a beautiful explanation in one of the Upanishad. A person who has got material desires, lot of material desires, it seems he will sleep more. You know, who loves sleeping. I am sure no devotees in this hall would love to sleep. You know, I hate sleeping. <laughs> they don't like sleeping, <laughs> right? I'm sure. <laughs> so, tad artham, 50%. Even after uh, building Iskon temple in Vrindavan, uh, Krishna Balaram temple, Prabhupada continued to live in uh, Radha Dhamodar temple, the tiny room. I am sure many of you have seen, you know, Vrindavan Prabhupada's room in Radha Dhamodar temple. Tiny. I am sure none of us will live in that room. Prabhupada was living in that room for almost like 11 years in that room, the tiny room, the tiny kitchen. So devotees went there and said, Prabhupada, now we have our own place. Why are you still? You know, living here, Prabhupada said, Radha Dhamodar temple is the hub of spiritual world. It is the hub of spiritual world. Even today, Goswamis gather there and discuss Krishna Katha. All the Goswamis gather in Radha Dhamodar temple. So Prabhupada had this uh, thing. Later on, Prabhupada became busy and became little sick. Otherwise, regularly Prabhupada will go to Radha Dhamodar temple and sit and chant lot of rounds. Such a beautiful place. And in Radha Dhamodar temple, Prabhupada had a very thick friend, an elderly person. Whenever Prabhupada comes to Vrindavan, he also used to meet and both of them will talk about different aspects. He was a close friend, I forgot his name. When Prabhupada was sick at elderly age, he was lying on the bed. This, this person came, said, Abhai Babu, please stop taking disciples. You are suffering because of your disciples. Please stop accepting disciples. How much karma you are taking? Because of that, you have health problem and sleepless nights. And Prabhupada closed his eyes. And with tears, he told that friend, old friend, Yes, I am suffering because of my disciples. A sannyasi should never sleep. Then Prabhupada said, I am ready to suffer even more by accepting more disciples. This is my service to spiritual master. Then the friend went out. Then all the senior devotees came and said, they all know this person is very close to Prabhupada. So they all came and stood around and said, uh, what, what Prabhupada said, what, you know, what is the next plan, what we should do, how we should take care of him. The friend said, 
what can i tell about him he is not from this world the friend said prabhupad is not from this world what a great sacrifice these gurus and acharyas are doing because we all know deep within our chanting is not perfect we all know we have lot of burning material desires for wealth for position so much of desires we we may very beautifully decorate ourselves and act as a vaishnava hari bol prabhu hari krishna all by your blessings we can do this drama very well but deep within we have desires for wealth we have desires for we are struggling to chant holy name we are struggling to wake up every day in the morning so many things do we honest do you honestly think that we are qualified to get initiation no guru also knows that he also knows that but still they are ready to take up so much of karma just to help us so we should be very grateful to this organization prabhupad his disciples and this family prabhupad's books prasad kirtan and continue practicing and try to progress thank you very much hare krishna we covered one and half shloka today okay yes prabhu ha huh?